Hey there, and thanks for being here today. Today we're going to talk about how to read tabs. Leave a comment down below and let me know what else you'd like me to cover for tabs or anything else on the subject of playing guitar. Thanks again so much. You are awesome. Alright, now we got the tabs paper up here. We're looking at the tabs here. And so let's talk about how to read tabs. How do you read tabs on guitar? You basically got these six lines here, and each of the lines is one of the strings on the guitar. So the biggest string is going to be on the bottom. The bottom line is the biggest string, and then the top line is going to be the smallest string. So when you're looking at the guitar, it's going to be the string is on the top and this string is on the bottom. So hope that helps. Back to this. So the number on the line is the fret played. So you got the fifth fret here, seventh fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, fifth fret. So this is on the fourth string. This is on the third string, this is on the second string. So remember the big string. So it goes from big to high, low to high, you're in pitch. So here's the fifth fret on the fourth string, hammered on to the seventh fret on the fourth string. So we're gonna do hammer-ons. I'm gonna play these with a metronome, and a great metronome to use is the Tempo one, and it's a freebie, you can get it downloaded at the store. So I got the Tempo set at 60. We're gonna do measure one here at 60. And um, before I get too far, I'm gonna talk about the fingering. So the fingering is one, three, one, three, one. So this is a notation up on top, and then down below is the tab part. So you, most likely you'll probably just see this part when you're looking at music and the top part you won't see. So it helps me because I had to learn how to read this, but taps is great because you don't have to necessarily read this and learn to read this on guitar is not easy at all. And so being able to read this is much easier to follow and I like it a lot easier too. The trouble with that is, is understanding the, the beats. And so basically you got four beats per measure. So you got two eighth notes, two eighth notes here and a quarter note. And this is a quarter note rest. If you're not sure what these guys are all about. So two eighth notes equals a quarter. So you got, there's one quarter and two more eighth notes. There's two quarters, there's three quarters, there's four quarters. So you got four quarters equals four beats equals one measure. So we'll, we'll talk more about that and I will show that. So let's do measure one with the metronome at 60. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Again. All right, so we just did that twice. That was measure one. So the H here is a hammer on. The P is a pull off. And so these little box things are down picks. You're picking down with the pick. And you can see my right hand in the video there, my hand picking down. So um, what I'd like to try to do is pick down on a down beat and then the up on the up beat. So here, we'll, when we get to this line here, we'll talk about the eighth notes. So anyhow, let's do the pull-offs here on measure two. Here we go, measure two. I'm starting on measure two on the seventh fret third string so that's seventh fret third string so with a metronome it sounds like this so two three four all right so that was measure two and let's go to measure three so and we talk about down picks, and I mentioned that already. It's here in the, the tab PDF. So if you need to get the PDFs, go to the description down below. There's a link there, and you could get the tabs there. And I'll send it to you in an email. So, and then a quarter note is this here. Well, we're gonna do that in a second. So let's um, let me cover all these guys. All right. So we got the P is a pull off. Figure out the H is a hammer on. So hammer on, H, P, pull off. That's important to know. All right, so let's do measure three here. So we got a hammer on and a pull off. And so this is on the third string. And then the last note is on the fourth string, seventh fret. So let's do that with the metronome. 
that's 16. One, two, three, four. Again. All right, so that was measure three. Now measure four, we got a triplet rhythm here. So basically a triplet is you got three notes in one beat. So, and then, so basically that's triplet, that's one beat, one here. Two beats would be the two eighth notes. So two, two eighth notes equal a quarter, which equals one beat. So a quarter note equals one beat. And then, this is a quarter note rest, by the way, if you're not sure what that is. And so, this helps me out knowing the timing and not always will have this up above. I mean, I like to put it up there because I could actually read this stuff and went to school and had to learn how to read it. But you don't need to know that and just to, just be able to follow these numbers and, and the H's and the P's and stuff like that. And we'll get into slides here in a moment. So let's play measure four with a metronome. Here we go. Two, three, four. Alright, so that was measure four. Now we're gonna do, let me do this for you. So let's see, make a circle. So we'll talk about, oh, look at that, I like that. So this circle basically is it's the way you look at the, the notes. And so four beats equals one measure. So you can look at it as this is a whole. This is one whole. And so we're gonna we're gonna divide this into four beats. So there's our half, and then if I go across like this. So now what we have here is we got four quarters. So four quarters equals a whole, which which equals four beats equals one measure. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Alright. So let's get into the slides part here. All right, so SL is a slide. So we're sliding here on the fifth fret, fifth string up to the seventh fret, seventh string. So you're going like this. So that's it right here. So fifth fret to seventh fret slide. So when you see a SL, that's what that means, slide. All right, so the pick direction. So we got one and two and three, four. So half notes right here, that is a half note. Those get two beats. So these are also two beats. And so the V here, the V is an up pick. We're gonna pick up on the Vs here. So what I like to do is always pick down on the downbeat. So it'd be one, two, three, and that's gonna be four, because it's gonna hold over. You're gonna let that hold on. Hold on to this half note, let it ring. So you don't necessarily know this, but this is helpful if you're kind of wondering what is the what is the rhythm of this tab here? So it is helpful to kind of know a little bit of it. Anyways, you don't necessarily need to do that. You just go by ear and hear how the example sounds. That's the best way to do it. All right, so you got um, measure five goes like. So what I'm doing is I'm going picking down on the downbeat and up on the upbeat. So it's one and two and. So I slide into three and so. Let me try it with a metronome. So measure five goes like this. Two, three, starting on third fret, four. All right, so that was measure five and measure six is basically the same thing. These Measure six is the same thing, except these five notes are just repeated an octave higher. And then measure seven, same thing, repeat an octave higher. So, so the fifth measure is starting on a G. The sixth measure is starting on G and then the seventh measure starting on G. So with the metronome, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four, so. All right, so that was measures five, six, and seven. So now we're gonna look at measure eight and then we'll go through going backwards. Basically it's the same thing, just backwards. So we're gonna go backwards now. Backwards, eight, nine, 10. All right, so measure eight backwards, it sounds like this. Two, three, four. All right, that sounds better. All right, so basically you're just doing the same thing backwards. 
It's a SL, your slides. Just give me an example of those. All right, so let me do this. I'm just gonna, well, I'm gonna do a, um, measure eight, nine, 10. Here we go. With the metronome, two, three, four. All right, so that was measure eight, nine, and 10. So now we're gonna do the whole thing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So we're gonna go up and then back down. So example goes like this, two, three, four. Backwards. So there you have measure five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we're gonna get into bending the strings. So anytime you see a, a note kind of goes up, bends up like this, it's it's a bend of some sort. And then it's gonna tell you how far to bend. So that's a quarter step bend, and then that's a half step and a full step. So quarter step bend. The challenging part with the quarter step bend is it's in between frets. So it's like so it's in between these two frets. So half step bend would be to here and the full step would then be two frets. So that's a full step. So seven to nine is a full step. So seven to eight is a half step. And then quarter steps in between. So quarter step. So anytime you see a bend, you're gonna go up and you're gonna stop that note there. And I didn't put down here, but we should go back down. So a, a bend and release would be like this which is a lot easier, a bend and release is a lot easier than, than stopping the note. Anyways, so we're doing just a bend and we're doing a quarter step bend. So in between two frets. So it's gonna sound like this with a metronome measure 11. Here we go, one, two, three, four. Third string. Again. All right, so that was on the third string, and then so we're bending here now on the third string with our first finger, and then we're going to the fourth string, seventh fret, with our third finger. So it's gonna look like this. All right, with the metronome, it's gonna sound like this. Two, three, four. Again. All right, so I'm putting the rest on each of those and another rest here and then this one also has a rest, but this one does not have a rest. So when we get here, basically those are both half notes, which gets two beats. All right, so here is a half step bend on the measure 13. So it's gonna go. So you wanna try to get that pitch in your ear. So with the metronome, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four, so. One more time. All right, so that was measure 13. Now we're going to measure 14. So now we got half notes, so basically, we are bending on the first string a half step and then we're gonna play on the first string, fifth fret. So I'm bending up. Metronome measure 14, two half notes. Here we go, one, two, three, four. All right, so those were two half notes bend on the half step bend. So a half note, half step bend. I know it can get confusing and I know that basically the tab direction is, you know, the big string is gonna be the lowest, the first string is gonna be smaller, the highest, and so just think in terms of pitch. At least that will help out there. 
And so now let's go in to measure, measure 15. Here we go, measure 15. So you got a full step bend now. So here we go. So I'm bending to it from a G to an A, and this is also an A. So it's nice that I, what I purposely did that and is I'm playing this note and then I'm test checking it out, make sure I'm on the right fret here. Alright, with the metronome it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. All right, that was measure 15. Now we get into triplet, although we did the triplet up here. So triplet, so it's a combo with a bend and a, so a triplet here. Um, we're gonna go bend and then down, up, down, down, up. Oh, and by the way, here we go. So here's the tie. So basically when you see this, you don't play this note again. Anytime you see a tie, you just let it ring out don't play again so note tied only played once so you could hear it keeps on ringing over even though there's nothing marked here so that's gonna sound like this two three measure 16 all right that is measure 16 now let's look at measure 17 so 17 you got Pull off, pull off, pull off, pull off, and then a bend at the end. So all these eighth notes, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six eighth notes, which equals three quarter notes, and then you got a quarter note at the end there. So all that equals one measure. Here we go, measure 17. With the measure now, one, two, three, 17, four. And I didn't mention, in the end there, I'm playing a half step bend, so I'm going. So that is measure 17. Let me play that measure 17 with a metronome. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Alright, that was measure 17. Now we're going to 18. So 18 is basically just a repeating idea here. So all eighth notes, you can go down, up, down, down, up, down. So um, I'm gonna do this bend, a half step bend, and then I'm gonna play. So a half step bend on the third string, seventh fret. So I'm gonna play that bend up, and then on the first string, fifth fret, I'm gonna play that note. And then I'm going to come to the second string, eighth fret, I'm going to do a pull off to the fifth fret. So it's going to be like this. All right, with the metronome, it's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four, 18. All right, measure 18, and now measure 19. All right, so 19, we got a slide here. And it's not telling you where it's sliding from. So it's just kind of basically, you just want to land on that note right at the beginning there. So basically on the sixth fret, you're sliding. And I typically slide from like the fourth fret to the sixth fret. So if I'm going to do something like that, it's going to look like this. So that's how that's going to look. So. All right, with a metronome, measure 19 goes like this. One, two, three, four. Again. All right, that one's kind of fast because you got a triplet, you got three notes in one beat, and then two eighth notes in one beat, and then you got a half note rest. So basically you don't play anything over here. So that is pretty much it. Thanks again for watching this video on how to read tabs for a guitar. And if you need the tabs, there's a down below in the description, there's a link. You click that and you can get the tabs emailed to you, get the PDF on how to read the tabs. Hope this video has been helpful. Please leave a comment and subscribe while you're at it. Thanks again. You are awesome. Take care and have a great day.